What's up guys, it's me Vicstar123 with some flawless knife only gameplay using the knife and the throwing knife. I think I'm just about getting there with uh, the the multitasking thing, you know, being able to switch between the knife and the throwing knife because my brain has kind of a one track way of doing things where I'm either trying to knife people or I'm trying to throw a knife them. I can't get a nice mix, but what I found out is that if I miss a throwing knife, then go for the knife. It's ridiculously simple. Anyway, what I'm going to be talking about today is Call of the Community 2. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for quite a while, about six months ago in the summer, it's not even six months, maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Yeah, there was Call of the Community 1, which was a charity tournament with loads of YouTubers and um, MLG Pro players. So, um, I was on a team with Woody's Game with Tag, Ronaldinho, 1224, and who was, who was that? Oh yeah, Icon's Ego. And it was a really, really fun event, just, um, you know, meeting all these people, the competitive players, the YouTubers, and oh my god, the competitive players were on another level. Seriously, they made me look like some Christmas noob, I'm serious. They just knew everything, they were calling out spawns before people spawned in them. They were just, like, dropping you down. They were just killing you before you even, like, saw them. They were they were using their headsets like it was a, a full map UAV. It was absolutely ridiculous. And that guy who was running around with the launcher, not a clue what he was doing. I think he had some kind of issue grasping the uh, concept of the game. There's one moment later on where it's just, it's just, it was, oh, man, on the live stream I was screaming, but it was just the funniest thing ever. Anyway, that's a little bit later on. So yeah, Call of the Community 1 was amazing, and we came placed about 8th or something. We won our first game against Team X Jaws, or what was their name? I've forgotten. Um, yeah, I think it was the Legion of Well-Hung Billionaires or something like that. Anyway, we beat, a game, we beat them in our game, and then we went on to the next game, and unfortunately we were paired with the lads who just decimated us. Fear Crads, NASA 1, Sam 5000, and forgotten who the other player was but they went on to win the whole tournament so I'd be inclined to say we would have got further had we not been paired against them but it was an absolutely great event and this is yeah that bit <laughs> that's uh, the first saving of my life by Downey the second one's right at the end so I was quite lucky really oh and this I was lucky to survive this just picking up that guy if I'd have got that last guy that would have been a pretty nice knifing throw knifing 2-2 two -two quad feed anyway so, I keep getting taken off my track of my topic. So what I was saying is, it was a great event, we managed to raise a huge 20, over $20,000 for charities like Thirst Relief, and it was just awesome, and basically, I wanted to let you guys know that in, well, this weekend, there is going to be Call of the Community 2, which is the sequel, you may have seen the video I posted up about it. It's going to be on callofthecommunity.com. There'll be donate stuff, everything there. There's me getting my life saving for the second time with a long range throwing knife from Stream Spartan. So, yeah, check out callofthecommunity.com. They're picking the teams on Friday the 20th, not sure what time, and then the tournament will be on Sunday the 22nd. So, make sure you're there, guys, and trust me, it will be a really fun event. Um, so, yeah, don't miss out. That's what I'm saying.